Hi guys, so if you are following ASP.NET Core 6, then you're probably aware that with ASP.NET Core 6 project, there is no startup CS file anymore. Uh, it is now combined with program CS file to bring unified experience, but some projects want to still have startup CS file and to implement in a clean way, we'll, we will uh, leverage extension methods. Um, ASP.NET Core 6.0 uses Web Application Builder and Web Application to bootstrap an ASP.NET Core application. So we'll create extension method for these classes that we will need. Um, I would say let's just quickly step into. So we do a, a .NET new Web API. This. So, and if we are now looking into the program CS file, then we see, okay, it's probably everything here and it can get really messy if you want to register startup services, we have a lot of them, as well as if you want to register startup middlewares and have a lot of them. Um, that's why we are just following the approach to our extensions. Um, yeah, just, Let's do a register startup services CS file. Yes, okay. We make this a uh, public static class register startup services, of course. And we also want to have in there a public static, uh, which is returning us a web application builder and call the method here register services this gets then this web application builder as the builder okay and as well we could type it ourselves or we just for now copying now this here or cut it move it into here okay that's the first part and we are going to return then our builder of course the next thing is that we need another class uh, where we are then registering startup middlewares Okay, so once again, static class, make here public static class register start up middlewares. In there goes a public static which returns then a web application. We call it setup middleware. It's a uh, Take the web application here, call it app. Okay, and what we are now going to do is we cut the rest, which is in here. Let me put it in. Okay, and of course, again, we need then to return what we made. Okay. That's great so far. And what we're now going to do is we take that web application, create builder, and we extend it with register services. Then we want to build this. Then we need to set up the middleware. Then finally, we want to run this. Don't need the variable here anymore. Okay. And that should be it. Let's try .NET run. Okay, and we are live. So you've seen this is a pretty fast and easy way to get rid of this uh, big over overblown program CS for 
bigger APIs for bigger ASP.NET Core web applications. And then you have here the clean way of registering or setting up middlewares and registering up startup services. That's it. So what do you think about that way? Give me comments and see you again in the next one.